welcome happy birthday to each and every person um in this week beginning for week from um the um the week beginning from the um 14 until the 20th and I want to say very special happy birthday to a lot of you out there who are having birthday in this year oh my god look at the year you are going to be a tearing ripping out what no longer serve you and getting rid of things because this is your new year for the people who were born on the 14 until the 20th this is the energy of the tower now this energy of the tower is a year where this water and tower so it's going to be like hurricane that is going to be going on for you guys because the tower is removing um, stuff that no longer serve you now this is good because what is transpiring and what is basically happening is that you are going to be releasing yourself of whatever that no longer serve you you're going to be moving forward because some of you um, are going to be releasing yourself of things that no longer serve you so you're you're tearing down things you're um, rearranging your life and you're going to be entrenched pairing in such a wonderful way because you're leaving things that no longer serve you behind so this is the energy of the year we're going to put putting it at the side now what is coming out is that some of you could be moving um, some of you could be moving some of you could be deciding to move some of you could be receiving higher position in work and some of you might be connecting um, with relationships um, um, living together you might decide to take on a new relationship um, and start a new life and some of you are going to be receiving a lot of um, luck and unexpected surprise that is going to be entering your life so this is going to be very good because these are the energy that is covering you guys so these are good energies because you're um, using the energy of the tower to release that no longer serve you and you're going to be aligning yourself moving yourself on a much better journey to something much better in your life so a lot of you a lot of um, moving changing houses buying new houses buying new cars um, going to live together with people uh, moving in together with people or people moving in together with you but there's going to be a lot of happiness and joy doing that because this is the energy of unexpected surprises and happiness um, that uh, most of you could be having so let's go ahead and uh, um, let's see what is going to be um, happening and if you notice I've changed up the reading because I want to um, get in a lot of information especially because this is a year reading so for a personalized birthday reading it is good to order a personalized reading for your birthday now um this energy of the hermit comes out okay so what does that mean for the energy of the hermit you're going to be shedding light or your guiding angels is going to be shedding light on certain aspects and certain situations in your life and this is why you're going to be deciding to release certain things that no longer are serving you so it's as if this year is going to be a year right after your birthday that you're seeing things for what they are and you're removing Things and you're understanding more because someone is going to be coming in who is going to be helping you out okay because obviously here it is the eight of swords um, the eight of swords is coming in and the eight of swords is um, you're not seeing something clearly and uh, someone this person um, could be a cops person that is a, a, um, a um, a Capricorn or an Aries, uh, um, a Capricorn or a Sagittarius who's going to be coming in and helping you to see a situation for what it is. Okay, this is a cups person because you're a cups person. I'm receiving the energy that this is a cup person, it's a Capricorn and a Sagittarius, Capricorn Sagittarius who's going to be help coming in and helping you to see things much clearly. And by you seeing whatever is transpiring much clearly, what is going to be transpiring for you is that you're going to be making decision to release certain things. It's as if sometimes you're in a situation and you're not seeing clearly and then people will come in and help you. So this person is a Capricorn Sagittarius, this person is a cop person. You're going to be meeting this lady um, she could be a highly um, intelligent person, but she has only love in her heart. 
uh, whoever this person is she has Capricorns in her Sun Moon arising and a Sagittarius Capricorn and Sagittarius that's what I'm receiving that this lady is very positive but she cares a lot about you whoever you are and she and because of that she's going to come in and she's going to help you forward um she's going to become like a, a big sister to you who is going to be comforting you at any moment this is someone who you who is um, going to be very loyal to you who is going to protect you on your journeys and it doesn't really matter if you speak to this person every day or um, you know you have contact with this person but it's as if you both are going to be connected in a way that you're going to be helping each others on your journey and this is going to be good it's as if um, your angels and guides send this person in because this is a spiritual thing that they send this person in to help you on your journey so this is um, very very wonderful for you guys so um, and for the people who were born on the 14th of January um, one and four is five January is one is six and the year 2019 is um, um, uh, 12 so um, you'll be working with the energy of the Empress in this year and the hangman okay because one and two is three so it's a basically the energy of the hangman and the Empress so it's a year where you're going to be seeing yourself is a year where you're going to be seeing yourself it's a year where you're going to be understanding things much better and this is going to be um, very 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 positive for you okay so and we're still on the energy of uh, people who were born on the 14th so number 22 is here and the energy with number 22 is that you're going to be making a decision this decision is whether or not you're going to be going forward with a situation you're going to be making a decision work career to change work career you're at a crossroads in your life where you're about to make some decision and that's why the energy of the tower in this year is just going to be released 22 is going to be a very good number and I'm going to ask the angels for other messages for you guys but I'm just going to do it when I'm reading um, for each of uh, um, you guys so let's see what other two messages that's going to be coming out for you guys okay so luck is going to be here for you guys who were born on the 14 luck is going to be here for you guys but as we're looking some of you are going to be having some conflict overseas okay so um, you could have a relationship or conflict far away you could have a relationship with someone some conflicts whatever the situation is it could be that you're going to be having some conflicts with someone overseas in this year and this is why you're going to decide to remove yourself from this situation because I'm seeing you having um, the wish is conflicts and um, um, overseas um, uh, so that means it's someone who doesn't live close to you or someone who lives abroad so it could be someone who lives close to you or someone who lives abroad so you've reached at a crossroad with this person and I hope you guys can see it you have reached a crossroad with this person and you decide to end a situation because you there you are deciding in this year to make a decision and end the situation okay so that's the extra message but luck is going to be on your side luck is going to be on your side so this is um, extremely extremely good for um, the people who were born on the 14 now we're going to the um, um, people who were born on the 15th here we go uh, so for the people who are born on the 15th you have the energy of the wheel of fortune now the energy of the wheel of fortune is very positive um, and whatever that was blocking your progress is moving away um, whatever that was blocking your process is uh, definitely moving away so the wheel of fortune is a very positive energy for the people who are born on the 15th of January extremely positive energies for you guys because what you're realizing is that whatever that was blocking your way is going to be moved there's a lot of conflicts and this conflict is going to come to an end some of you um, men and women who are in conflicts um, the energy of the tower in this year is going to be removing this conflicts removing this conflicts away okay because the, the central energy is a wheel of um, um, it's a wheel of uh, fortune but the um, the energy of the tower is going to be removing 
this conflicts with this person away and what that is going to bring is a transition into your life this is going to bring a definite transition in your life so for you men and women that was having conflicts and was having some serious um, situations that is going on in your life what is transpiring is that uh, um, it's about to remove out of your life and uh, what is removing out of your life is uh, um, whatever secrets that was kept is going to be open up so this is going to be removing out of your life so um, you have eight the energy of eight um, five and uh, um, uh, ten which is one so you have one um, eight um, five and ten as your numbers okay so going back to the people who were born on the 14 you have 9 and 22 and 11 whatever is transpiring for the people who were born on the 14 is a powerful year because with the energy of the tower working with 22 and 11 is going to play a significant role in your life okay we're moving on to the people who were born on the 16th um, it is the energy of justice so if you had some legal situation if you're a lawyer um, this is justice if you had some legal situation whatever the situation is or was um, you're going to be winning for your client you're going to be making a lot of money um, whatever legal suit it is you're going to be making a lot of money a lot of money is going to be coming in for you guys in this year so if you were born on the 16th of January expect whatever legal situation you could be suing you could be receiving extra money um, someone could be dying and leaving you some inheritance this is going to be very positive and very good okay so um, wonderful energy justice comes up twice so you have twice 11 and 3 and money um, number 7 so um, whatever legal suit that you were in justice um, prevail and your materialistic uh, whatever you need is going to be coming at you so congratulations for you guys as we look at the energies um, the 17th of January energy of the 17th of January the Empress is here whatever the situation is the Empress if you were dealing with someone um, who is um, if you were dealing with someone who is a Aquarian Gemini or Libra um, you're going to be turning your back on this person and as you turn your back on this person you're going to be regaining balance in your life so you're really 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 going to be regaining balance in your life so you women um, 45 years and older um, you Capricorns you women who have been dealing with um, um, someone who is an Aquarius Gemini or Libra whatever the situation is and this is for the people who are born on the 17th whatever the situation is what is transpiring in your life is that you are going to be aligned with the right and proper energy after you re, um, you regain um, balance in your life because you're going to be leaving this person and this is for the people who were born on the 17th okay your energy is um, three uh, 33 and 8 so money financial stability is going to be coming in your world you're going to be working this and financial stability is going to be coming in your world and this is going to be good so for the people who were born in the 17th another wonderful um, year is about to come up on you and um, for the rest who are not dealing with legal legalities and that sort of a thing um, you're going to be okay it's going to be a positive year of you bringing stability in your life and some um, expect some um, successful event to happen um, unexpected event to happen okay and that is good now we are looking at the people who were born on the 18th the 18th of January it's all about you um, putting effort in um, your um, work it's all about work for you it's all about work all about work whatever the situation is it's all about work as you look at this the energy of the Emperor is here the page of cups so um, a lot of people your work is going to be admired people are going to be saying thanks it's all about the kids if you guys have kids it's all about you focusing on uh, your financial stability um, to balance out situation for your kids and this is going to be 
very 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 wonderful because whatever the situation is you women are going to be very successful in this year because um you're going to be um changing and being promoted and all the dispromotion and changes is going to be coming in and you're going to be providing for your kids you women are going to be having this wonderful and men and women is going to be having a wonderful year because you're releasing what no longer serve you and focus on um, empowering yourself and making yourself much better and this is going to be good okay you're dealing with empowering yourself and making yourself much better and this is going to be good as we look at the people who were born on the 19 and that is the last of the zodiac energies um, it is the last of the zodiac energies um, for the Capricorn the last of the zodiac energy for the Capricorn um, you will be dealing with an organization okay so um, this energy means that a lot of people you're going to be dealing with a lot of people now whoever these people are or whoever the situation are is that you're going to be dealing with um, these uh, fire sign people in an organization so um um, what is going to be transpiring is that this could be your father this could your be your partner this could be people who are in organization they're coming from a past life situation and whatever is transpiring in this organization in this situation you're going to be seeing that these people uh, whoever they are these people are going to be realizing um, you're going to be realizing that um, I'm letting you go okay whoever these people are you're going to just decide now I've seen what this is all about and I'm letting you people go I'm turning my back on you people okay so these two people have been um, in a collaboration with each other that what you had been having problems or you're about to have problems and what is going to happen in this year is that it's going to be ending it's going to be ending the energy of the tower comes down and it's going to be ending it's going to be ending so for you people who were born on the 19th of January this energy is um, the twice five and two eyes one okay so uh, get ready for this year because this year is going to be a lot of conflicts and a lot of situation that you you have to deal with with organization because here we have the king of um, rods and the knight of rods and the energy of this is a karmatic situation that you're connecting with so there we go for the people who were born um, the Capricorn zodiac sign is now over, and uh, um, we are going to be looking at the Aquarian. So, for you Aquarians that was born on the twentieth, what is transpiring and what is happening is that you have the energy of the lovers. Now, the energy of the lovers is here, so you're definitely a Capricorn Aquarian cups. Now, whatever is happening is that. Uh, the energy of the hangman which is the energy of the year is here and some of you are going to be realizing a situation with the king of cups and you're going to be ending it you're going to be ending it because you're going to be realizing if you were in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're definitely ending this because you see something you realize something about this king of cups and you decide I'm going to be ending the situation and moving away from this person so um, people who are in relationship especially if you're born on the 20th of January um, you're going to be realizing that uh, whatever the situation is is that you're going to be ending this situation and you're going to be definitely moving away from this situation you're going to be thinking um, this situation doesn't serve me anymore this relationship the situation doesn't serve me anymore you're going to be ending it moving away from it and you're going to be deciding um, I am going to be um, letting this go and ending um, this relationship in this year okay so there is a lot of stuff that is about to happen for you guys and a lot of transition that is A lot of transition that is about to happen so um, whatever the situation is uh, take what um, resonates with you and leave the rest okay because life is like this um, um, you're going to just realize that there's just certain things that you need to end it so um, let's see what is coming up I'm using the universe as your facts to see what is coming up overall it's it's going to be a year that you're just receive releasing things and positive new things are coming in I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to be making a lot of money in this year I'm seeing that a lot of you have to take care of your parents or situation that is coming up with your parents and your children 
your parents and children are the focus in this year I'm seeing a lot of situation where um, some of you ladies are going to be standing your ground and um, building strong stability in your life and this is going to be good all right so let's see what is coming up for you guys the message for you guys in this year is in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring um, you to towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love okay this is a beautiful beautiful energy um, to um, this is really a beautiful energy to really end um, this reading with okay so ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you so much for personalized reading you can always contact me um, check out the website for a personalized reading um, for a birthday reading because the birthday reading will give you more in-depth information I can just give like a little bit of um, information as to what is going to be affecting you so I want to say namaste until next time have a wonderful wonderful year and I love you guys namaste